Hey guys, what's the best programming language for freelancing? It's probably PHP with JavaScript a second. Why PHP? Am I saying PHP is the best programming language since sliced bread? No. PHP is probably the, well, it is. It is the best programming language if you want to freelance because there are so many small businesses that leverage, that use PHP today, but they're gonna need PHP developers. Well, they do need PHP developers to update, to build new things, to keep their sites up. Just think about WordPress. That's the 800,000 pound gorilla in the coding world. WordPress, the content management system, love it or hate it, is so widely used by small business that, and if you don't know, WordPress is built on top of PHP. So many small businesses have WordPress installs that they need PHP developers to update their themes, to clean up, to add or create new plugins or to modify plugins, all kinds of different applications. Drupal, another very popular content management system used by small and large organizations. Again, another PHP based platform. You get the idea. There's so much legacy PHP code out there. Even if you hate PHP or the idea of it, and by the way, most people who hate PHP, it's more about the idea of PHP that they hate. They've been told to hate PHP, so they hate PHP because they've been told to. They, a lot of people who hate PHP actually never actually worked with it. I was the same way in my very first, not my very first, in one of my early freelance projects when I was a big Java developer. I was Java all the way. That was my language. It was such a great language at the time. It's still pretty good, but I wouldn't use it today. But anyway, back to the story. So I went in to see a client and the client had a PHP based application. They wanted to expand it. I said, hey, client, you should use Java because Java is this, this, and this, and this, and this better. And which is true, especially back then. This is back in the PHP 3 days when PHP sucked really bad. Anyhow, so they said, listen, no, we have our investment in PHP. We're not going to switch off of PHP because we don't want a part of our code base in PHP. And we don't want our part of our code base in Java. That's stupid. And they were right. So I said, OK, we'll just rewrite the PHP stuff in Java. And then you have a nice Java application. And again, they said, what are you crazy? We just spent all this money on PHP and we're gonna rewrite application software that works? No, no, no. You, if you want the job, they said, they said, Uncle Steph, if you want the job, you're gonna to have to do it in PHP. Actually, back at the time, I wasn't Uncle Steph, I was much younger. They said, Cousin Steph, if you want the job, you're gonna to have to do this in PHP. So I said, you know what? I looked at the money, I said, okay, okay, I'll do the job. So I learned PHP and I didn't want to learn it. It took me all of about a day to get comfortable with PHP because once, you know, if you know how to program, you know how to program. You know how to drive a car, you know how to drive a car. So I learned PHP and back with, this is old PHP, even with all the flaws that it had back in the, in the day, all uh, its limitations back in the day, it was still, I started understanding the merits of the language itself. That's just one example of a small business They've had an investment in a particular language, in this case PHP, and that's what they wanted. So going back to freelancing, even today, I'm recording this in mid-2024, PHP is still hugely important in the small business space. So if you want to freelance, it's all about the web, and in terms of programming languages, it's about PHP. So you want to freelance, learn PHP, and you're going to make money. Second, second to it is JavaScript. How about Java? How about C Sharp? How about Python? How about TypeScript? How about Swift? For freelance, for every freelance Swift job, there's probably 10,000 PHP jobs. Okay, maybe 5,000. For every freelance JavaScript job, I'm talking freelance here, not jobs, freelance jobs. Uh, for every JavaScript freelance jobs, there's probably 100, 200 PHP freelance jobs. I'm not kidding. Just go look around. You'll see it for yourself. If you have any questions, you have any disagreements about what I just talked about in this video, post in the comments below and I'll actually respond, believe it or not.